。世界卫生组织一位高级官员一月四日表示。中国的新冠疫情数据并未准确反映那里的情况，并且低估了应该并住院和死亡的人数。发表上述评论之际，联合国机构准备在一月五日再次与中国科学家会面，这是成员国就全球新冠疫情情况举行的更广泛简报会的一部分。世卫组织紧急事务主任麦克瑞安在媒体简报会上表示。我们认为，目前中国公布的数字未能充分体现该疾病对入院人数、ICU 入院人数的真实情况，尤其是死亡人数的真正影响。There are certainly issues in terms of the criteria for recording and reporting deaths attributable to COVID-19. We believe that definition is too narrow, which requires a respiratory failure in association with COVID-19 to be registered as a COVID-related death. That is a very narrow definition. We know there are difficulties in all countries very often in recording hospital-related、uh, admissions and、uh, use of ICU facilities. But again, we believe that the the current numbers being being published from from China underrepresent the true impact of the disease in terms of hospital admissions, in terms of、uh, ICU admissions, and particularly in terms of deaths. 在早些时候的简报会上，世卫组织总干事谭德赛重申，该机构对中国新冠病例感染激增感到担忧，并再次敦促北京迅速提供有关住院和死亡的定期数据。他在媒体吹风会上表示：“我们继续要求中国提供更快速、定期、可靠的住院和死亡数据，以及更全面、实时的病毒测序。” We continue to ask China for more rapid, regular, reliable data on hospitalizations and deaths, as well as more comprehensive real-time viral sequencing. WHO is concerned about the risk to life in China and has reiterated the importance of vaccination, including booster doses, to protect against hospitalization, severe disease, and death. This is especially important for older people, those with underlying medical conditions, and others who are at higher risk of severe outcomes. With circulation in China so high, and comprehensive data not forthcoming, as I said last week, it's understandable that some countries are taking steps they believe will protect their own citizens. This data is useful to WHO and the world, and we encourage all countries to share it. Data remains essential for WHO to carry out regular, rapid, and robust risk assessments of the current situation and adjust our advice and guidance accordingly.